On behalf of the Transition Year Global Citizenship Education Class, we would like to welcome you to our film documenting the Mill Street Community School Language and Culture Week 2022, which took place the 28th of March and the 1st of April 2022. For well over a decade now, we have celebrated the increasing cultural diversity in our school and local community in a variety of ways. This year, we devoted the week to a range of activities and themes. These included global food tasting, an international flags quiz, sports against racism, celebrating languages, challenging racial prejudice and discrimination, as well as encouraging inclusion. All staff and students were involved in one way or another. This short film will feature footage of the various activities that have taken place during the week. These will be accompanied by reflections from students, staff and members of the local community about the importance of celebrating cultural diversity and not being a bystander when it comes to racism. We have other guests who have made contributions on film for us. Stevie G, Cork Red FM DJ, Magdalena Sliva, administrator with the Together Razem Centre in Cork, Michael Creed, TD. Brother Kevin Mascarenas, a board member with Places of Sanctuary in Ireland. Sean Ogo Haplin, three-time Cork Hurling All-Ireland winner. Neveni Hunghor, Sanctuary Runners Regional Officer for Cork and Kerry. Amini Mustafa, board member with Sports Against Racism Island. Oja Onla Kunde, Sunday and African Lovomo, participants with Sanctuary Runners. You will hear Brother Kevin refer to our school's desire to be formally recognized as a school of Central in the future. In line with this, our hope is that the Language and Cultural Week serves as a reminder to us all about the importance of being truly welcoming and open to those who arrive in our community from different parts of the world. We are enriched by them just as they will be enriched by Ireland's culture and traditions. We hope you enjoy our presentation. Man's inhumanity to man makes countless thousands mourn, so said the 18th century Scottish poet Robert Burns. I believe it is important to celebrate cultural diversity because I believe everybody, irrespective of race, culture, background, creed, ethnicity, has a part to play. It is important for people coming here from other countries to feel that they too will belong. We will learn from them and they too in turn will learn from us. To bring about change, you must not be afraid to take the first step. We will fail when we fail to try. And this quote is attributed to Rosa Parks, the African-American activist of the 1960s who stood up for what she believed in. So, stand up. Take that first step. Let us not fail. In my opinion, I think celebrating diversity adds to the rich, richness of the school and the local community. We get to know more about cultures from different parts of the world. When we, are, when we learn more about different cultures, we feel more comfortable being around people from these countries. We become more interested in people from these different places. Overall, celebrating diversity with events like Language and Culture Week helps us to understand each other on a human level. This helps us to prevent judgment and discrimination and can lead to the creation of friendships between different cultural groups. So, what should we do if we witness another person being discriminated against? Perhaps because of their nationality, religion, or skin color. Maybe someone uses a racist term against another person. If we witness this, we should act. But what can we do? We might feel confident enough to challenge the person being racist. If you don't feel you can do this, then you should tell someone else you trust to make them aware of what is going on. We should act like an ally, not a bystander. The poet Seamus Heaney said, Hope is not optimism, which expects things to turn out well, but something rooted in the conviction that there is good worth working for. I believe it's important to celebrate cultural diversity. By doing so, we learn about other cultures and traditions outside of our own. This broadens our horizons and enriches our lives. It creates connections with people 
from different cultural backgrounds and traditions. By celebrating cultural diversity in our communities, we become a stronger and more united community. It also helps people coming from other countries to feel more included, respected and welcome. By celebrating our individual cultural diversity and differences, we become more open-minded and more understanding. Activist and author Maya Angelou has said, we all should know that diversity makes for a rich tapestry, and we must understand that all the threads of the tapestry are equal in value. I would like to speak about the need to challenge racism. To stay silent when presented with wrongdoing is to agree with the wrongdoing. In many ways, those who know what is wrong but fail to challenge it may actually be more guilty than the wrongdoer. The wrongdoer may be acting out of misplaced anger or fear or ignorance or some other pain. But the person who stands by and lets a fellow human be attacked or insulted or belittled because of their race or their creed or anything else, surely that is very, very culpable. If I know what is right, I must never let my eyes be shut or blinded due to convenience or popularity or fear. In Hitler's Germany and Stalin's Russia, we are told that for each murderer, 10 people stood by idly. At least in the case of those people, there is some understandable fear, fear that they themselves would be killed or maybe they and their families. But surely it is very different for us. Surely it is very simple for us to speak up on behalf of anybody who is being mistreated. A reflection by John O'Donoghue. Love allows understanding to dawn, and understanding is precious. Where you are understood, you are at home. Understanding nourishes belonging. When you really feel understood, you feel free to release yourself into the trust and shelter of the other person's soul. I think cultural diversity adds a lot to a community. It exposes us to different traditions, languages, and helps broaden our minds to the world around us. Outside of our school, town, county, and country, it can make us think differently about things. I feel it's important that people feel welcomed and accepted wherever they're from. Being inclusive of people from different countries and cultures helps ensure that no one feels left out or excluded from school or local community. I think if children are taught from an early age to value difference and not to be afraid of people from other cultures, then they are much less likely to grow up with racist and other narrow-minded attitudes. I don't think we can be bystanders when it comes to racism anymore. We need to be an ally to anyone who experiences it. It will become normalised if we don't challenge it. We need to be prepared to call it out when we see it. This is the time of year when we celebrate all things Irish. It's the time when we celebrate our National Day, St Patrick's Day. But we remember too that Patrick was from what we now call Britain. This is important when it comes to thinking about celebrating cultural diversity. Patrick, after all, was an immigrant himself. So I think one can be a proud Irish man or Irish woman and still celebrate and enjoy the different cultures from Europe, Africa and beyond. The new Irish have made a major positive impact on Ireland in terms of music, cooking, sport, languages and so on. Largely because of our welcome to immigrants in recent decades, I think Ireland now feels much closer to the rest of the world, much closer than it was when I was a child. Irish people are very welcoming. Many of the students who 
were born in other countries have said this to me over the years. Being welcoming, uh, proud of our heritage, but open to other cultures is what Irishness means to me. Hey guys, this is Stevie G here from Cork Shred FM. I know a few of you already. I've worked with many of you on different projects and uh, I'm always delighted to help your school with language and culture week, celebrating um, the whole different array of cultures we've got in the world. Uh, I'm a big music fan myself and um, different cultures have enriched music, my life, the music world of Cork and elsewhere and all around the world. And the same goes for other cultures as well, whether it's food, whether it's sport, uh, whether it's language, whether it's anything. So I hope you all have a great week. I know you're all doing some great stuff. And uh, I'm looking forward to coming down to your school again soon to do some more stuff. And uh, I was with the TYs recently, a group there, and uh, they're great. So shout outs to all of them. Uh, shout outs to all of you guys in Mill Street. Uh, great spot. And uh, you're all doing some great stuff. And uh, enjoy. Uh, the celebrations because I know you're going to be celebrating Language and Culture Week 2022. Hi, my name is Amina Mustafa and I work with the Glen Cree Centre for Peace and Reconciliation and I'm a board member of Sport Against Racism Ireland. I hope you're having a lovely language and cultural week this week and I'm here to answer two very important questions. Why it's important to celebrate cultural diversity and um, how and why we should stand up to racism and discrimination. Um, so first question, why is it important to celebrate cultural diversity? People from different countries and cultures can offer unique perspectives different to our own. And what that can offer is an alternative or different way of looking at problems or issues that we're facing in our society. They can also offer um, best practices or ways of approaching different issues that we are currently facing in Irish society, such as access to education, unemployment um, and community development. By addressing and challenging racism and discrimination in our communities, we can create a more inclusive and welcoming society. Sport Against Racism Ireland takes a unique approach to addressing racism and discrimination by using the medium of sport. Sport can overcome language barriers and bring communities together across difference or despite difference. Through sport we can learn about each other, play together and develop new relationships. Um, racism can present itself in various forms, some obvious and some not so obvious, such as systematic racism where rules and regulations can prevent um, or create barriers to participation. Um, or access to employment. Uh, SARI designs and um, develops projects and uh, curricula that address specific issues that we face in society by learning about them through the medium of sport, through experiential learning. Mill Street Community School is in the process of uh, becoming a school of sanctuary and they are also having a language and culture week. So I would like to speak about a little bit about schools sanctuary. Schools play a crucial role in helping young people make sense of the world, to become responsible citizens and to create positive change in their communities. By pledging to become a school of sanctuary, a school will be part of a grassroots network growing movement across UK and Ireland. The Schools of Sanctuary initiative in Ireland is coordinated by the Places of Sanctuary Ireland and is part of the City of Sanctuary movement, which aims to create cultural welcome for everyone, especially refugees, asylum seekers and other sanctuary seekers and marginalised groups. Promote the voices and celebrate contributions to our society of people who have either sought or are seeking sanctuary. A school of sanctuary is a school that is committed to a safe, welcoming and inclusive environment that benefits everybody, including anyone in its community who is seeking sanctuary. It is a school that helps its students, staff,
parents and wider community to understand what it means to be seeking sanctuary and to extend welcome to everyone regardless of their status. A school of sanctuary can be any kind of place, village, town or city and is either diverse or ethnically homogeneous. What counts is attitude of the school as a community, not what its children, staff and parents look like or where they were born. Becoming a school of sanctuary provides schools with a valuable strategic tool for school improvement, enables them to meet a range of statutory and non-statutory obligations. So thank you very much and I wish all the best to Mid Street Community School for becoming a school of sanctuary. Thank you. Hi there folks, Shanoga Halpin is my name. The best way to introduce myself is to use Mihala Marahortek's famous words when he once described me as Shanoga Halpin, father from County Fermanna, mother from Fiji, neither a hurling stronghold. I played for the Cork Senior Hurlers for 16 years from 1996 to 2012. During that playing career, I was part of three all Ireland winning sides, captaining one of them in 2005. At this stage, you're beginning to think that life for me in Cork was easy, comfortable and plain sailing, but this couldn't be further from the truth. Life for me in Cork can be broken into two parts. The first part is when I arrived in Cork as a 10 year old, having grown up in Sydney, Australia, and the second part is after when I joined the local J club. So I arrived here in 1988 as a 10 year old kid having grown up in Sydney, Australia. I was in fact born on my mum's island, the island of Rotuma, because I carried a lot of my mum's Fijian features. I looked very different compared to the local Irish kid. As a result, I was treated differently and this was a tough period of my life growing up in Cork. It was only when I joined the local J club, the Pearshick Harlan Football Club in Cork City, that life was to change drastically and for the better. Little did I know at the time when I was going to training on a Tuesday and Thursday that this was the big break down many barriers and misconceptions about me at the time. This then transformed onto when I was representing the club in local competitions and I quickly moved from being an outsider to being one of them and a local lad in the community. Because of this belonging, I was able to dedicate myself and immerse myself in the game of hurling and I was able to fulfill a teenage dream of mine, which was to play for the Cork Senior Hurling Team. Not alone was I able to play for the Cork Senior Hurling Team, but I was able to win a few all of medals along the way and play in front of packed audiences at Parky Keeve and Cork, Simple Stadium in Tullis, and the famous Co Park in Dublin. I also made Long life friends, not alone in Cork, but outside of Cork and around the country. My main message is it's okay to be different. You are who you are. But the key is, is to make a difference in your own local area or community. In my case, I immerse myself into the local J club, which was a huge part of the Irish culture and the Irish way of life. And because of it, it opened up doors that were unimaginable to me at the time. Hello, my name is Magdalena 
and I work at the Together Asian Center in the role of Office Administrator. Our organization provides support in four areas. First of all, we provide advice and information support to the Polish, Ukrainian and other nationalities here in Ireland. Also, we um, run a youth clinic uh, of integrated psychotherapeutic services. We also provide English classes. At the moment, we uh, provide English classes for Ukrainians. And also we provide English classes online for Polish people. Uh, we meet customers of various nationalities and we believe that cultural diversity is beneficial and is very important in Ireland as it benefits both locals and the com communities. It also creates open mining across people living in Ireland as well as self-development and personal growth. Uh, we believe that the cultural diversity builds uh, equality among children, so they believe that everyone is equal and we, we think it's beautiful. Also, we have a chance to develop our language skills by conversations, um, conversations with, with the citizens in Ireland of different origin and I believe uh, it's beneficial that you can practice your language skills through uh, the normal conversations and just through the chat with other nationalities in Ireland. Thank you. Uh, good evening and thank you for the invitation to join with Mill Street Community School to celebrate its uh, 2022 Culture and Language Week. I've been asked to say a few brief words on the issue of cultural diversity and its benefits. And I think, in truth, no community more than Mill Street knows about the benefits of cultural diversity because of the many nations of the earth that have now descended on Mill Street and call Mill Street their home. And you, of course, uh, you know, witness on a daily basis that cultural diversity. What is it? It's the different languages. It's the different sporting traditions. It's cricket being played in, in, in Drishan uh, convent grounds. It's different musical traditions. It's different dress. Uh, it's all the things that make the nations of the earth different from each other. And all of that difference, uh, all of that cultural richness is something I think that is to be celebrated and something that in many respects heightens our own sense of our cultural identity and uh, recognition that, you know, we bring to that great uh, cultural table our own uh, unique traditions uh, which sit proudly amongst uh, those of, of other nations of the earth. In some respects, the antithesis of uh, that cultural diversity is racism. And I think it is imperative that at every opportunity we tackle head on racist tendencies, racist behavior, racially motivated hate speech, uh, racial slurs, because the hate speech of today, the casual racial statement, the casual racial words that we use can be the foundation upon which greater acts of racial hatred and violence are built upon. And I think having been a witness to the great cultural richness and cultural diversity, as you have been, um, it is important that to preserve that and to acknowledge the legitimacy of all that, that we recognize, you know, the individuals within those communities as being individuals of equal status to ourselves and everybody else, and therefore deserving of, you know, the full protection, the embrace and the love and affection uh, of all of us. And therefore that we challenge head on any racial behavior that seeks to marginalize or diminish or minimize or indeed to uh, act violently against uh, people of different cultures, different uh, uh, backgrounds um, and different races. And for that reason, you know, challenging head on racial behavior at every opportunity is critical. Hello, my name is Niamh Nikonachor and I'm with the Sanctuary Runners Group.
The Sanctuary Runners are a multi award winning solidarity to sport initiative. Um, what we are about is we are a group of people who run, walk and jog together in the spirit of solidarity, friendship and respect. And in particular, solidarity with those living in the direct provision system. We're a group of Irish residents who run, walk and jog with people who mo who have moved to the community. Um, we would be delighted to welcome new members any time. And we frequently meet at the Mill Street Town Park on Saturday mornings or travel to other groups and, and events um, at, at weekends as well. If you would like to learn more about our group, you can check out our website or you can contact us on email at info, I-N-F-O, at sanctuaryrunners.ie. And I'm going to um, hand you over to Ola Kunle, who's going to talk a little bit about what being part of the Sanctuary Owners Group in Mill Street has meant to him. And we're, um, we're also going to hear from Abigail, who's going to speak about what the, being part of the group has meant to her as well. Thank you very much. Yeah. Good morning from this side. My name is Ola Kunle. Uh, one of the uh, sanctuary member in uh, Main Street. So I joined the sanctuary member around June in uh, in the Dublin at uh, Papa Tree Park. So since I've been transferred to Main Street, I joined the sanctuary runner group as well. It's good to be part of a sanctuary member in a main street because since I got there, I've been shown love. And you know, on a daily basis, it's good to be doing exercise. And exercise is good for our body. As you can see, I'm getting younger every day. So it's a kind of a therapy to, to the body. So I love it being part of the sanctuary member in uh, Me Street. It's good to be there. One love, everybody. One love. Good day. My name is Abigail, and I've been with Sanctuary Runners for three years now. Sanctuary Runners is about solidarity, respect, and friendship. The main aim for Sanctuary Runners is to promote inclusion for people in the direct provision and Aslam seekers in Ireland, in the Irish society. Through the marathons that I've done with um, Sanctuary Runners, I've gained a lot. I've managed to meet new people. I've managed to create friends. And I've managed to meet different people from different uh, backgrounds, different cultures, which is a very good thing to know about people in the world. Sanctuary Runners... Um, they have done a lot, especially in the times of uh, COVID-19. We still connected because we do our visual running and we do exercises on YouTube, which keeps people connected, especially people in the direct provision as they are prone to depression and mental health. You know, there's a saying which says, uh, friends are the family we choose. Sanctuary Runners, we're not just uh, runners. Sanctuary Runners is the family we choose. Paul O'Shea Khan here, the principal of Mill Street Community School. You've just seen and experienced a taster of the activities of Language and Culture Week in our school 2022. It has been a week of great activity uh, in the school, a week of positivity, a week of celebration of all that is good about the cultural diversity, not only in our school, but in our local community here in Mill Street. All the activities you've seen are predominantly organised by the Global Citizenship Education Group in Transition Year under the guidance of our chaplain, Mr John McGee, and I want to acknowledge their role in this. Um, what you've done for our school community this week has been fantastic. Activities, uh, workshops for every um, group in the school and um, a very positive knock-on effect on the whole school community and uh, the support that we get from Worldwise Global Schools and Irish Aid is greatly appreciated every year and that does help us 
to organise activities such as you've seen here over the past week. So this is an annual event. I think this year we have gone above and beyond what um, would have traditionally occurred in the school. Um, some of that is due to learning experiences over the last couple of years through COVID-19 and a lot of it is down to um, the enthusiasm and the energy um, of that group of students in transition year and of Mr. McGee. Um, we openly celebrate diversity in our school. Everybody is welcome in Mystery Community School and we are very proud of the diverse range of nationalities that we have in our school and indeed in our community and Mill Street has been home to um, refugees and asylum seekers going back as far as 1999 when the first um, people from Kosovo arrived into the town and we look after all comers to our town very very well and in particular in our school we value every student that arrives into our school regardless of where they come from regardless of their circumstance and very importantly regardless of their academic ability everybody is treated equally and is valued as a student in Ministry Community School and I hope that you've got a sense of that from um, the various activities that you have seen in this presentation. Um, I suppose what has brought everything into focus for us unfortunately over the last couple of weeks we've all watched on in horror at what has gone on and what it continues to go on in Ukraine and I want to extend a very special welcome to the Ukrainian families who um, are joining us and continue to join us in Mill Street and most particularly those students uh, from various districts in, U in Ukraine who are now arriving into our school and rest assured that we will welcome you the same as we welcome everybody else. You have a place in our school and you will be minded in our school and looked after and provided for as best we can during your stay with us regardless of whether that is long or short. And for everybody else in our school community, we welcome, as you know, um, anybody who comes into our school at any stage of the year. And the support that you have given, in particular, the Ukrainian community um, over the last number of weeks, and I'm referring in particular to our Bake and Busk event, um, where we raised over €2,000 Euro as a school community, um, to support the work of the Irish Red Cross. That's a marker of um, the characteristic spirit of our school. We um, go above and beyond to help those who are less well off than ourselves. And we do it um, formally on multiple occasions during the year, but we also do it informally every single day of the week when we meet, when we greet, when we teach, when we influence when we look after, and most importantly of all, when we include everybody that comes in the door of our school, regardless of who they are, regardless of their race, gender, creed, orientation, and that is our school community. So thank you for being with us, thank you for sharing this event, and thank you ever so much to those of you who have been involved in organising it. Gurv Mila Mila